14 months. That's how long it took for Kosatu to convene the Special National Congress, a Congress demanded by a third of the affiliates. The affiliates were disgruntled as a result of the suspension of the then General Secretary, Zuelinzi Mavavi. Vavi had been suspended for an office affair. At this stage, the affiliates had made it clear that they had lost confidence in presidents to Mutlamini's leadership. There is little doubt that the organized labor movement and indeed the working class as a whole is facing one of its most severe tests at this time. <clears throat> the paralysis which infected and which has effectively demobilized Kusatu and which led to the formation of this group of nine plus unions has created a profound crisis for the working class and the poor. But they were in the minority in the all-powerful Central Executive Committee. Kosatu dragged its heels over holding of the Special National Congress, citing concerns over logistics and money. This act of taking Kosatu to court to fight that we must be allowed to participate in a Special National Congress where metal workers must appeal their expulsion to the owners of the federation, which is workers in a congress, is a just and a noble cause. It is a cause to demonstrate to everybody that for us, unity for workers is compulsory. For us, unity for workers is sacrosanct. A court order finally settled the matter in June this year, forcing the federation to commit to hold the special national congress. In the meantime, they must continue to fight. NUMSA, which had led the call of the Congress, are out of the picture. So is Vavi. Vavi and NUMSA were expelled from Kosatu in November 2014 and February 2015, respectively. In disrupting that the door is shut on possible elections at the gathering. Kosatu has made it clear that the topics for discussions are unity and cohesion and leadership. The issue of Vavi and Jim, not Jim, Numsa, is a matter of an ordinary Congress in November. You see, the Constitution is very clear. You can call for Vavi on the floor, but Vavi is not going to be an item on, in this Congress. So, but if the chair says, in terms of the Constitution, Uvavi is an item, you continue to call for Uvavi, I'm going to ask you to leave the Congress because those are the powers given to the chair in terms of the Kosatu constitution. There shall be nothing that will uh, succeed in disrupting that special national congress of the federation. Uh, we have uh, put all necessary means in place to ensure that workers are safe, workers are able to debate their Kosatu with no disturbance by any other force. But the other affiliates want to elect new leaders and discuss NUMSA and Vavi's expulsion. Do members have the final say? Now, they do, but it must be in terms of the constitution. The members can't go to a COSATU constitution, I mean a COSATU congress, and say the constitution says only those members who are in good standing must vote and you ask the Congress, do you agree with that? Can you agree that everybody should vote, even if it's not in terms of the Constitution? You can't, they have a final say, but they can't do it because the Constitution is above the Congress itself. About 2,500 delegates representing all 18 affiliates will converge on Midrand's Galaga estate. The last time the Federation gathered at that venue, divisions were already apparent. Instead of allowing the rank and file to decide, a gentleman's agreement was brokered, returning all national leaders uncontested. It remains to be seen whether this Congress will be a catalyst to ensure peace and unity in the fractured Federation. Yuri Sanjamala, SABC News.